about Gmail filters on a computer. These are much easier to use on a computer than a phone, so I encourage you to set them up on your computer. Now, just imagine if every time your kids left something out or came in from school, threw their backpack on the ground, your house somehow just filtered that stuff and somehow put the backpack on the appropriate hook and put their clothes in the appropriate drawer and the toys in the appropriate bins. Well, that is what Gmail filters allows you to do on your computer using your Gmail inbox. And maybe it can filter out the yelling you're hearing from my kids in the background. <laughs> but let's get started. Okay, we are going to step up the organization and cleanliness of your inbox um, a lot right now by showing you how to use filters. Filters enable you to automatically categorize your emails. So remember my example about how we use labels, where if you have a mailbox full of physical mail letters and you needed to organize those into categories or folders, in other words, labels in Gmail, you would make one for your family letters and you put all the letters in there. You'd make one for business and you put all the business letters in there and you'd make one for church in my case. This is just an example. You'd put all the church letters in there. Now, let's suppose that you could do that on autopilot so you didn't even have to spend the time of gathering the emails out of the, um, of the mailbox. You wouldn't even have to spend the time of gathering the physical mail from the mailbox and, and categorizing it and sorting it, imagine if it just did it automatically. That's what Gmail filters allow you to do. And it also helped you get rid of spam this way. I'm gonna go through and show you how to set up automatic filters to just automatically sort your emails and things like that. So here's an example of where I use one of these. So this one here is Billy Jean. He's a marketer that emails me like 10 times a day. And the only reason I get these is because I like to see what he's doing. So when I study marketing, I can learn from it. So I select this one with the checkbox. And then up here on the three dots, I click more. And I choose filter messages like this. Okay. And it's going to filter messages from. So basically it's saying anytime I get an email from this email address or with this subject line or has these words or doesn't have blah, blah, blah. There's a few options you can do then I can tell it to do something with that, okay? So I'm going to put create a filter. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna directly just put this into a certain folder, okay? So I'll apply this label is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna apply this label to it, which is business training right here. I have a folder for business training business training okay create that filter and now from now on it won't do it with these ones these ones I've got to physically move in the ones that are already in my inbox I've got to physically move these ones in by selecting them and clicking move to business training right here okay but what's cool is next time Gene emails me Billy Gene emails me I won't even see it in my inbox. It will automatically go into that marketing folder. Okay, you can use the same technique to filter spam. So let's see if I can find a spam email here that I don't want. I've deleted so much of my spam, I'm having a hard time finding one. All right, sweet dash, we'll say this is spam, okay? So I select this one here. And I choose the three buttons more. Filter messages like this. So this is going to filter any message from this email address. Create a filter. I can archive it. I can mark it as red. I can star it and so on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it um, just disappear. I'm just going to delete it because it's spam. Why even bother putting it in the spam folder? I guess you could put it in the spam folder just in case you wanted to be able to check it later, see if it was, but I know I don't want these, so I'm going to have these automatically deleted by creating the filter. All right, now I'll show you one more cool thing about these filters that you can do that will be handy for you. Uh, let's say there's a certain person 
that emails you like your boss or your wife or your kids or a business partner, someone that's really important. You never want to miss those emails from that person. So you can get them to automatically get marked as stars so that they show up as your important emails that you need to read. Okay, so here's how you do that. Let's suppose that this one here. is from someone that I need to always read theirs. Okay, so I select it, I choose the more button, I choose filter messages like this, and then I go create filter, and I put star it, okay? And then every time that person emails me, it's gonna show up as an important email, all right? So hope this helps. Go ahead and clean out your inbox, play around with filters, start auto filtering your spam and just get rid of it, start filtering um, people who email you a lot and that you want to save their emails into a folder for that person and start filtering people that are important and have them show up as a start or an important message so that you can always see it and never forget about it all right hope this is helpful that's how you effectively use filters in your gmail inbox so that you can keep your inbox clean organized and not looking out of control Hey, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Before you go anywhere else, check out this playlist I created for you. Everything you can ever need or want to know about Gmail is found in this playlist. Click the video playlist and watch. Also, please like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications.